and always tell your loved ones that you love them because you never know when it'll be the last day. Felicia Garduño's words of advice come after an unexpected and painful loss. Her 18-year-old baby brother, Roberto Ramos Jr., was killed Sunday night in what she and her family are calling an accident. According to the Ramos family, Ramos Jr. was standing right about here as his 13-year-old cousin shot birds on the opposite side of the home. One of those shots was fatal. It went into and hit on his, um, on the head on the temple. Yeah, they had been around guns for a while already, so... I mean, it was just, you know, God called him and, you know, we just have to accept it. The family tells us Ramos Jr. was a true outdoorsman. He loved fishing and hunting, another of his pastimes, roping competitions, which he excelled at. His most recent win came in San Antonio. It's very hard for us. It's very hard because we were all very close to him and um, he was very loving and caring and he was such a good boy. I mean, he would joke around, had a great sense of humor. He was always happy. And it was just all of a sudden, like, none of us expected this. Sheriff Omar Lucio says it's a tragic incident, but hopes people will realize that guns are not toys and hopes those considering ringing in the new year with bullets in the air will think twice before tragedy strikes again. If people think that when you shoot up into the air that it's going to be go on and disappear forever. It doesn't. It comes back and you don't know where it's going to wind up. It has happened before and it will probably happen again. To help discourage the shooters, extra sheriff deputies will be on patrol this New Year's Eve.